<laughs> and dogs just came up and said, what in the heck's going on in here? You can get back in your corner. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jake. Kathy's in, wow, <laughs> Kathy's in the kitchen. <laughs> and uh, we've been going just a little bit uh, nutso in this uh, quarantine thing because of the coronavirus. And uh, we've come up with a few ideas that will probably make your day go a little quicker. Kathy is a phenomenal cook. And we're going to share some recipes with you. Stick around. I think you'll enjoy this. I was a video and film producer for about 30 years. We decided to do some road trips using some of our equipment that was kind of hanging around doing nothing. We wanted to visit some of our old haunts and then decided to keep right on going. Our old haunts are not doing nearly as well as we are. So off we go, and our first road trip is to Ocala National Forest, one of the greatest playgrounds in the entire state of Florida. We're going to head a little bit south of where we live. We're going down to Salt Springs, home of a gigantic 55-plus community. It is absolutely gorgeous. If that's what you're looking for, this would be a good place to live. They have a couple of really nice restaurants here, a couple of filling stations, a grocery, and also they have a jam up EMT fire department here if you need them. Our first stop, the crown jewel of the Ocala National Forest, Salt Springs Recreational Area, Campground and Springs. And we have a yearly pass, actually it's a lifetime pass, and I think we paid $80 for it, and they just kind of let us scoot on through because that's what this covers, park entrance. But if you want to camp, it's going to cost you a little bit extra, even though you do have the lifetime pass. Now, the lifetime pass can be had at uh, the headquarters of Ocala National Forest, which is about 30 miles that way, south. Just want to check, make sure you got everything right. There's a launch ramp uh, at this park that you can use. You can also park your boat down there and not have a fear of your tires not being on your car when you come back. There's also a launch ramp across the way. That's called the Salt Springs Marina and Launch Ramp. There's also a store over there that sells fishing tackle and snacks, but you also get a lot of fishing information from over there. Salt Springs Run, which goes from where we are down to Lake George is one of the fishiest places you're going to find in the state of Florida. If you want to know exactly where they are and when they're biting and what's biting, you're going to want to ask Donnie or one of his uh, people that work there at the Salt Springs Marina and Launch Ramp. Great place to get the info. As you can see, we stopped in front of the little store at the parking area. The springs are located right behind the store. In the little store, you can get all kinds of snacks. The kayak rentals are actually located across the way from the park over at the uh, launch ramp. It's one of the clearest springs in the state of Florida. It pumps about 53 million gallons of slightly salty tasting water. That creates uh, an interesting situation. We have a lot of saltwater fish species in these springs and also in the run that goes down to Lake George, which is about four, four and a quarter miles from here. You also will find blue crabs, which are some of the best tasting crabs you will put in your mouth. There's quite an abundance of them, both in the spring run and at the end of the spring run on into Lake George. People have a great time here. In the background, you'll notice a few pontoon boats or larger boats parked around and the people standing in the shallower water there. During the weekend that changes. There is a virtual flotilla that comes in from Lake George and they party hardy. <laughs> we shot this video on a Wednesday and it was uh, pretty calm around but this place is a jumping spot for the locals on the weekend, so if you want to know how the local Florida folks live on the weekend, this is the place to come see what's going on. We call it fun in the sun in the sunshine state. 
As you exit the springs, you'll notice at the top of the hill, there's an extremely nice restroom and shower facility. Handicap accessible, of course, and it is absolutely spotless. And there's also a changing station inside. As you exit, you'll notice that you're only about 50, 60 yards from the parking lot. And you'll notice also what makes this the crown jewel of the Ocala National Forest. Look to your left and you're going to see trees that start at the ground and then go right back down to the ground. Amazing. A beautiful place for a picnic. Only about 50 yards or so from the parking lot. We're going to get ready for the next part of our tour by checking to make sure that the cameras are all in order. We're going to go over to the campsite area. First, we're going to pass where the guys and gals park their cars and trucks with their boat trailers behind them right in front of the launch ramp, which is at the bottom of the hill. And now we're going to go into the campsite area. I want you to notice one thing, the distance between the campers and the wide open spaces that you're going to see in this campground. It's absolutely amazing. Almost like being in, can I say the word, Texas. <laughs> There's all kinds of people in here. People who have gigantic rigs like this one. And we're gonna turn the corner and we're gonna show you a couple of things that'll be interesting to you, they were to me. First, we're gonna stop here and show you exactly what you get when you come into the campground. You're gonna get sewage, water, and electricity. It all comes with the package. There's also a convenient dump station that you could use. I want you to pay particular attention to this next rig. This guy is an absolute genius with a welding torch and a cutter. Wow! <laughs> that is amazing. Some more wide open spaces here. Uh, we will make a left turn up here. I want to remind you that there are quite a lot of uh, campsites in this area and there also is a primitive campsite area. I think it has something like uh, maybe 64 or so campsites. It costs a little less but you don't get nearly the amenities there as you get here. Here's another rig that's kind of interesting but it does exactly what they need it to do. Sleep and eat. Another modest rig and then a monster rig. All kinds come in here as we mentioned. And here's the sign that says 106 campsites in here. I want to talk to you a second about something that is uh, kind of important. This little girl was not looking out for where she was going. She didn't see me at all, but I saw her. And it's up to you to take a keen eye and watch out for kids because there are a lot of them in this park most of the time. We're going to go inside of this because this facility has something a little extra. In addition to the bathrooms and showers, they have a dishwashing station. Inside the bathroom is just basically like the others. We'll go down and take a look real quick. And uh, coming up next is uh, the reading room. They have a handicap accessible shower. And I do want you to take a hard look at one thing while we're in here. The floor. It is absolutely immaculate. As we pull out, we get a glimpse of something I want to take a look at. This is a handicap accessible campsite. You'll notice it is concrete paved as the others are tar paved. And this is flat level for people who have walking disabilities. Located right across the street from the restroom. And there's the road that goes to the uh, launch ramp. And then we're going to make a right turn. And as we make the right turn, we'll go out of the park past the uh, office.
And as we come up to Highway 19, we'll make a left turn so we can visit the launch ramp on the other side of the springs. We go down about, I think it's about a mile, maybe a little less, and you pass the Sunoco station on the right going south. Take the first road on the left. Go down that about maybe three quarters of a mile and that opens up into the spring area again. And at that point, you're able to launch any size boat you want to. You'll notice as you pull in that there will be several cutouts on the left-hand side of the road. Kind of keep an eye on those because occasionally you'll see a deer or two. And there are also a couple of, uh, I guess, service roads over to the left. You look down those and you'll see deer more often. notice the bear proof trash bins. We've actually seen a bear down this road. These bear proof trash cans are there for a reason. Bears are smart. <laughs> they know how to get into a garbage can. So do not throw any trash out anywhere and when you're camping be sure you don't leave anything edible outside on the ground or around your campsite because there are bears in Ocala National Forest. We're going to pull into the launch ramp area, and you'll notice that there's a small store. Snacks in there, sundry sunglasses, uh, hats, suntan lotion, etc. And one of the nicest launch ramps you'll see anywhere in the state of Florida. It's concrete, as you can see. Aluminum, floating dock, extremely easy to launch, extremely easy to get in and out of your boat. And uh, people are very courteous. The spring headwaters are always crystal clear, but not so much in the run. They're murky today. The reason for it being so murky is because it has rained a lot and the wind is blowing from the east. That's Lake George water. Notice across the way, the Salt Springs Recreational Area launch ramp. That's where the X is, and that's where the folks over there launch their boats. Donnie rents kayaks. I think he's got about eight or ten of them. And he also rents canoes. If you'd like, you can rent a power boat or you can rent a pontoon boat by the day or by the hour. And if you have a pontoon boat and you'd like to park it here, he has plenty of room for you. As you can see, it goes and goes. After you get through with a long day of fishing and would like to clean up a bit, you can wash your hands and do your business in the nice bathrooms. There's no mistaking that this is one of the most beautiful places that you ever see. We filmed this on one day during a three-day trip through the Ocala National Forest. I think you're going to enjoy what we have on tap. Here's a preview. Be sure to like us and subscribe to us. We have a lot more up our sleeves from the state of Florida. You know, we've been here since 1949, and we know a whole lot about this state. Thanks for watching. It's been a great day. I want to remind you to treat one another with respect and be kind. Life's a whole lot easier that way.